Hi, I'm going to show you how to work with Google Docs and saving things on a Google Drive. Now that we are expanding to using Chromebooks and all of our regular desktop computers have been set up with Google Chrome, you're going to see how easy it is to work with the same document on several different computers without having to have a flash drive or saving it in any specific place and having to transfer it from computer to computer. Now, um, you will be getting a sign-in and email to use through the school if you don't already have a Gmail or Google Mail type account. Um, and it's pretty easy. So once you get that, you're just going to go to sign-in and you type in your email and password. And I usually don't click sign, stay signed in because if you're going to be on different computers, you don't want other people to access your information if it was something you didn't want to share with other people, including students. Okay, so I'm signed in, and I know that I'm signed in now because you'll see that I have my information up here in the corner. And basically now, if I work on a computer at home using Google Drive or a Chromebook or one of my desktops in school, I can access this anywhere. And again, that could be the reason why you might not want to stay signed in if other people are going to be using the computer. Now to get to Google Drive or Google Docs, you're going to go right here where you see this, Apps. And go, you'll see there's all different things here um, that you can access. And there's a whole other page of things you can use. You'll see when you get the Chromebooks or when you're on Google Chrome. So I'm going to go back to Google Drive and this actually just shows you things that I've worked on but to make a Google Doc you can just go to create and this is what you do to be similar to Microsoft Word this would be um, if you were doing something like a PowerPoint this is Google's version of it this is Google's version of something that is like Excel and form is really neat because you can actually make a test or something or a survey and put it on there and make it accessible to your students on all of their Chromebooks or the computers you have in your classroom. Um, and this is also a drawing app. So I'm going to go to Documents. And let's, you see it's an untitled document, so you can give it a title. Um, Okay, and then all I have to do is how to create a Google Doc. And you can use similar things that you have with um, Microsoft Word, just not as many options, um, but very simplified, so it shouldn't be that difficult when it comes to um, trying to go through it. There aren't too many fonts to have to choose from. Um, and you can see you can have the same type of commands across the top. Um, a print option, undo, redo. And basically, I don't have to go and save this. I can just actually stop right here and X out of this. And it'll be in there um, when I need it. So if I went back here to Google Drive, and you can see, there it is. If I go home and I sign in at home, this is going to be there. And I could just add to it. Now, um, if you do need to save this and be able to open it in Word, um, you can convert it. And you'll see you'll get the option when you save that. So and it also has the option of sharing it. Um, where you can email it here. You can also make it, if you are doing it yourself, um, this is a setting to keep it so that only you can see the document. And that's why I was talking about staying signed in. You don't want other people to see what you're doing. Um, and that's, that's helpful to know this. And this, let's say you were creating a test or you wanted someone else to be able to work on the document with you, this link will make it so they can link to it also. So um, basically, that is how you work Google Drive. Go back 
to that one. And this is where you will see all your things saved. And to create was all you had to do here. And to get back, you just have to go back to your apps. And you can even get your email from that. So um, with the new Chromebooks, hopefully this, hopefully this can help you expedite saving things and being able to access them at home. And this is a good way for your students to be able to do their work and save it. And as you know, they'll pro they will all be getting their own accounts so that they can save it in their own Google Drive format. So thanks for listening.